Hello darlings, how the devil are you? I hope you're all well. It is Dom here and I've got some more Anacrusia stuff that I want to talk over because we didn't get to cover it in the last video and it was pretty bloated. So I want to talk about some of the upcoming features of the Anacrusis and at the end I'll touch on whether or not I think it's probably worth a buy or not. So to iterate again, the Anacrusis is a Left 4 Dead inspired four player co-op where you run from one safe room to another and blocking you on your way is a whole host of aliens and nasty creepies to trip you up along your way. Each run is completely random and has a director in the background, so no two runs are alike, so you can have different experiences with different friend groups, and essentially, in theory, there is a lot of replayability. And again, if you haven't watched a previous video, this is coming out on Xbox and PC, and it is currently in early access, and you only have access to three episodes. So this is using the Source Engine, and I'm presuming that the guts underneath it is also Left 4 Dead. There's just so much overlapping that I can't imagine it's anything else. So the big question for me is, how have they progressed on this? How are they making it so it's more replayable? Now, if you played Back for Blood, which is a bit of a Marmite at the moment, some people really love it, some people hate it. But for what it's worth, it does have a progression system. It's on a new updated system. There's DLCs coming out, and there's a lot to keep you coming back and replay playing the same game over and over again. So unfortunately at the time of this video the roadmap website is down so I can't talk about that but I will go back and do another video on it when it's up. That being said here is a good educated guess at what they're going to be putting in to keep you coming on back. So the first thing is there are going to be multiple weapon skins. There are weapon skins in the game. At the moment there is only the base versions but there is a weapon skins tab in which you can select different ones for different weapons. How you go about unlocking these I am pretty sure it's going to be related to the season. Now the season tab is just left with a big stub of coming soon but I'm presuming that there will be some sort of season pass in there or some sort of you know, replayable content that you can do and then unlock different cosmetics and bits and pieces with. There are also different skins that you can have for your characters. So there's Gwion, there's Nessa, there's Liu and there's Lance. The default one is called their daily wear and it's that typical swinging 60s style of clothing. But with the options that you can select, there is the option to have more. There is also a feature that is currently not implemented called the weekly challenge and this is a scavenger hunt. So I am presuming that you have to go off and find certain items within the levels and then you'll get some sort of resource reward and then you can use it to buy items or it may even give you an item at the end of it. But again, early access, these are not implemented yet. The other thing that really kind of seems obvious as well is the fact that there's going to be more episodes as well so you can come back and play different levels. How fast these get released? I'm not sure. I guess it will depend on how much kind of money they get from their early access release. But we'll just have to wait and see on that one. What there isn't in the game at the moment, however, is the following. There is no 4v4 like the previous Left 4 Deads. I imagine that would end up on the roadmap. There is also no survival mode, similar to how Left 4 Dead has had in the past and Back 4 Blood. So if these are important things for you in these kind of games, then you are going to be disappointed at this current point in time. There is also no difficulty settings in the game as well. So in terms of going back and replaying it on a harder setting, it just doesn't exist. There is only one standard mode currently. Now this is a little bit of a comparison to Back for Blood but one of the things that they have put in that I really really like is their new deck system that allows you to build your character in a certain way around a certain playstyle that really keeps things super fresh. And there isn't such a system in the Anacrusis. Now I don't know if it's fair to make that comparison but I play a lot of these games and it's certainly something I enjoy and more importantly, keeps me coming back and playing the game over and over again. Where I think the Anacruz's strength lies though, is their dedication towards the mod community support. They've already stated that they're gonna be putting in tools and allowing people to create mods for their game, and this is something that's kept Left 4 Dead alive for a long, long time. And if you have a look at the Steam Workshop, you'll see a whole plethora of different things out there. There's maps, there's skins, there's weapon skins, lots of things that will keep you entertained for long periods of time. Now, for the big question, would I buy the Anacrusis? Now, it's retailing at $29.99, but for the short window of its release, it is coming out, I think, for roughly $24. 
And this is where things get really tricky for me because I do enjoy playing these type of games and there are quite a few of them out at the moment. The problem is some of them are maturer than others. And because currently the Anacrusis is so feature light, I feel like after I've done one level, I've done them all. Now, soldiering through with my friends is really fun. But again, once I've done it all, what is the reason for me to come back? And I think the Anacrusis already knows this. And they've already started putting in some light features of this to try and make each of the runs different, especially with the materializers that give you, you know, options that change your characters in certain way. But they are very abstract and not really a core part of the game as they're all squirreled away in different locations at the moment. And you can easily just run through a whole level without ever having looked at one. So if I was a hardcore Left 4 Dead fan and I was looking for more Left 4 Dead content with more modding support, I probably would say pick this up now while it's on sale and then enjoy as it matures over time. For those who aren't a hardcore Left 4 Dead player, I would suggest that you wait a little bit of time. The game is by no means awful, I didn't really run into any bugs, and I had a blast for a couple of hours. But I did find myself petering off rather quickly, and when I got tired towards the end of the day, it wasn't one of those games I was like, oh this is just so good I'm going to power through the sleepiness because I just want to keep playing. I was quite happy to put it down and leave it to rest which if I'm listening to my gaming gut is probably telling me there just isn't quite enough to do yet in the game. Anyway, that's my final thoughts on this. If you do pick up a copy of the game, let me know in the comments below. What did you think of it? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What do you think of early access games overall anyway? Let's have a great conversation. And more importantly, everyone have a great week and I'll be back with more news and games soon.